Hey, hello everyone, I'm Madzap, and welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Last time we uh, ran into Team Galactic, I believe, um, on our way to Eterna City, I think? Yeah, Eterna City, which is uh, all the way up over here. This Okay, apparently there's a force here. I was like, why are there these boxes and stuff and instead of like normal lines? But um, anyways... I uh, see. So yeah, we got that, and then we there's this whole thing with ball capsules that didn't seem to be very interesting, and then uh, Jeff and Edgy Boy, Edgy Boy here, Jeff Lucius Dare, of course, <laughs> uh, evolved as you can see, and we still got Mem in our party for some reason. He's just kind of hanging out, <laughs> I guess. But um, yeah, okay. So then let's, let's see. Oh wait. Oh, these are the berries. Okay, yes, berries are something that I know a little bit. That that they're things you can equip. They're like they're they're like health items. I don't know what the different berries do, and I never really cared because I never actually used them. But they're a thing. <laughs> um, let me see if there's any items I need. Uh, let's see, unless they have great balls, I don't think so. See, so yeah, Rock Tomb and Bullet Seed. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, we also got that Stardust. I, I never looked at that Stardust, I just realized. Uh, oh, yeah, you can, it's just a sell for money item. Uh, so let's do that right now. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh, oh, whoops. Uh, well, okay, they got Net Balls. Okay, well, that makes it better against those Pokemon. I don't really care. Uh, I guess let's buy some of these. Let's um, can we buy nine? Sure, that's like, that's like all my money, but sure. Okay, and then yeah, let me sell that Stardust. Um, Stardust. Uh, I could sell it for a thousand. It's Stardust. Only a thousand? Really? Only a thousand pokey dollars or whatever. Okay, well, I guess that's fine. Uh, okay, here's more berries. P uh, Pitcha berries. Or Pitcha? I don't know how you pronounce it. So many things that don't make sense how you're supposed to pronounce them. Uh, the Chesto berries, that one I can figure out. Uh, oh. Oh, this was scripted, okay. Help, help, trainer! Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at the Valley Windworks. But the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. But those do not look like space aliens, kid. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, uh, oh. <laughs> can I just like skip this? <laughs> not an optional side quest. Uh, okay, hold on. First, let's pick up this. Okay, cool potion. Can always use more. Uh, don't you dare go into the Va uh, Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes you think you're gonna try to get in. Okay then, you have to battle me for it. Oh, I, I was wondering if the battle would actually start. It's just so much to life. <laughs> okay. Let's take care of this dweeb. Glammeow. Oh look, it's finally like a... A new Pokemon. <laughs> One that we haven't seen before. Um, okay. That being said, I think it's Dark type. Let's just see how Thundershock works. Oh, yeah. Okay, that did fair amount of damage. Scratch. Oh no, they get you with damage. Okay, this is Thundershock. All right, and, and Mem got 69 EXP. That's pretty nice, but yeah, like I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this. <laughs> I like how he recognizes how feeble his, his team of Pokemon is. Uh, isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Haha, <laughs> in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. It, 
except for the fact that I told you where to get the key. I could have just not and avoided this whole situation entirely, but anyways. Okay, um, yeah, that guy's clearly smart. I want to see if I can find a new Pokemon in here. Why, no wild Pokemon are wanting to come out and play? Are the wild Pokemon just... Am I just getting super unlucky or is there no wild Pokemon in this tall grass? Oh, wow, okay. It just took a really long time and... Ooh, it's a Weasel. I like Weasel. Uh, but he doesn't really add a whole lot to the team because I have uh, Jaflukius. Um, hmm. And yeah, I can just kill him with a Thunder Charge. Or Thunder Shock, rather. Which is critical. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, um. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll figure out a better teammate. Maybe is there other ones? Okay, yeah, let's see if there's a different one. Nope, just another Weasel. Okay. Well, sorry, I just need... I, I guess I just needed to kill some Weasels, you know? Just kind of damage the environment that way. <laughs> Disrupt the uh, ecosystem. And there you go. Oh, Mem grew to level 12. Like, I, that's important at all. <laughs> okay, let's just go over here. Uh, oh, we, Team Galactic, are conducting research in Eterna Forest. This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flower meadow, meadows of Floroma Town. We are also using the energy of the Valley Windworks or something. But that is of no concern to you. I don't even know why I told you, but anyways. Uh, oh, I can't fight them? Oh. Okay. Cool. Uh, where do I go then? Because he locked himself in, right? So I, I can't progress that way? Uh, yeah, okay. Lock from the inside. Okay, um... Hmm, well, this is unexpected. <laughs> do I have to go over this way? Don't mind me just running over all the flowers here. Uh, there's something over here. It's over here. The secret, secret pathway. Oh, the flower. No, okay. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We can't just go get it ourselves or anything. <laughs> we must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What will we do? Can't have that brat running off to get help. Solution's simple. We must ensure that the brat stays quiet. <laughs> just pulls out a gun. <laughs> Team Wait, they're attacking me one at a time? Don't you guys think it would be more advantageous to do, like, go at me at the same time? Okay, I can thank you one at a time. It does no skin off my back, but okay. <laughs> the, let's see. Let's eat the worm bowl. Bite it whole. Yes! <laughs> Just one shot him. <laughs> I assume that this version of the the game is much easier than the originals because uh, unless like because I, I know that a lot of the newer Pokemon are stupid easy and this one feels pretty easy. So I, I, I but I don't think that the original Diamond and Pearl were that easy, right? Again, I never played them, so I don't know. <laughs> Silcoon. I never understood Silcoon, like why it has these giant eyes and everything, but that's cool, I guess. Okay, you're defeated. Are you the, the only one with Pokemon, or does your friend have Pokemon too? This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Bell you right after my core is weakened you gives me the edge. Dude, he literally never damaged my Pokemon. <laughs> I just one shot them all. <laughs> Or, yeah, that's right. Because the only damage I've taken from a Team Galactic Grunt is the uh, uh, Glam Meow doing the scratch. Uh, 
And okay, let's just Thunder Shock get this over with. Oh wow, look, it looks like your Pokemon got one shot at again. What are you gonna do? You can't you can't beat this. I my Pokemon is just too powerful. Wait, he only had one? Why did I fight him second then? Usually I, I feel like you would have like the other guy be tougher by the fact that he has two Pokemon instead of one. But I guess they did that that way. I don't know why, but anyway. This Brad's tough, like really, really tough. It's tougher than I could put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done for now. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Okay, I guess I just left. Ooh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. No use to me. You may as well have it. Wow. Thanks, man. Thank you. You surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you. Do you think this is my thanks? <laughs> Here's the honey. <laughs> I like, okay. If you slather that honey on a sweet-smelling tree, it might attract Pokemon. Ah, okay, I've never seen that effect before, so I don't know exactly how that works, but that's cool. Also, this area is pretty nice looking. I kind of like it. It's, there's a lot of flowers, but I think that's kind of the point, even. Uh, what's this little house, though? I feel like I stepped into the wrong house. Sorry! <laughs> I always love how you can just barge into random people's homes in these games. Ah, there we go. Uh, so I guess we just head back to the Windworks then? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing much else to do, right? Just run back over there and take care of business. Show that dude who's boss. And unlock the door. Yes, yes, please. Okay, there we go. And then as soon as we open the door, he just closes it on our face and then relocks it. And then we have this endless loop. <laughs> What? No way! You have the key! Locking the door was meaningless! I am the loser in this after all! <laughs> what dialogue? This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Okay, I guess we're just in this evil factory now. Or, uh, lab. I'm not exactly a factory, I guess, but... Uh, can I just... Oh. I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how a professional does it. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, buddy. Yeah, sure. Are you gonna throw out a Zubat at me? A Cascoon! Oh, creative, aren't we? Well, let me guess, its level is 12? I'm being generous here with a level 12. Oh, it's level 11, okay. Uh, let's just eat it. Eat the Cocoon, or the Cascoon. Oh no, it used Harden, oh no! <laughs> Sorry, try, try not be making fun of these guys. I mean, they kind of deserve it for thinking they have any chance of beating me. Alright, so there, there's this guy. Again, you put up no fight at all. Oh, Edgy Boy leveled up, nice. Level 16 now. Ain't get any new moves, but that's okay. Messed up my job, now I'm gonna get a bonus. Okay, yeah. I probably don't need to read all of those because there's gonna we're probably gonna be fighting a lot more of these guys throughout the game. So, anyways, let me just walk up to here. Hey, how's it going? Uh I'm here to uh stop you guys. So could you just leave? Maybe drop a couple penny a couple dollars on your way out? Yeah, thanks. That'd be cool. Uh, I am one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We have been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. You know, if you had told me about it, maybe I would be able to help. And, like, you know, maybe I would agree with you. But all you do is just say, hey, give us your stuff. It's not exactly helpful. <laughs> so let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Okay, sure, sounds like a fair deal. 
Commander Mars, all right. Got some planets in the background. Ooh, this person's special. Okay, she immediately throws out a Zubat, which we know is easy. Oh, but it's level 14, oh no. It's like actually around my level, kind of. Oh, and it didn't get one shot. Impressive, you know. You know, congrats on the Zubat not surviving one of my attacks. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? I'm killing them. This is a blood fest, okay? You see the, the electricity coursing through your Zubat as it dies? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll calm down. I think I need to calm down. I just look where level up. Uh, her ugly. That's the uh, uh, evolved form of uh, Glam Meow, I believe, where they become ugly and thick. Uh, so let's keep Thunder Shocking. Oh, fake out. Uh oh, I think that's a. It can be a flinching. Oh uh, yeah. Dang. Okay, well that's kind of annoying. Thief. What does Thief do? That does a lot of damage. Just uh, rip out part of my soul. Oh. This person actually has quite a bit of HP. Okay, uh, a Flugwis, <laughs> swap in. Okay, boom. Thief attack. Okay, it doesn't deal as much damage to him. That's good. Uh, Metal Claw. That did a fair amount of damage. Oh, that was a crit though? Okay, so it's not a very strong move, or the Pokemon's just very, very beefy, which is probably the case. Uh, okay, I was like, <laughs> are we, who's going? Oh, I know, you ate the health item. Frank, okay, the, they're killed a little bit. Health. Also, that's, that's not how berries work, usually, right? They're not crunchy like a gigantic uh, nut or something. I don't know, I... It doesn't really matter. It's a freaking video game. Okay, um... Let's see. 20 HP will bring out the 33. Guess I'll use a potion. Might not be the most effective use, though? Uh, let's see. This is actually getting a little rough. Oh, finally, it gets affected by the paralyzed. Uh, whoops. Uh, let's just try a water gun. Oh, you know what I should use is my charm. Maybe that, that maybe this will actually be a good use for it. And it used growl, so you know, charm is much stronger than growl for some reason. <laughs> charm. There we go. Lower the attack harshly. There we go. To make your the attacks pretty much pointless. And then water gun. There we go. That was, there was, there was actually some, like, I had to, like, slightly use my brain there, so <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, okay, it just blows up. Uh, oh, headbutts. Uh, sure, I don't know. I, I'm gonna get rid of Mem anyways. Uh, just, just get rid of Defense Curl. You don't need that. Yes, 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 okay. Learned headbutt, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, we defeated Commander Mars. Nice, and thank you for the money. Oops, I messed that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Okay, and then... This old scientist goes... Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a un new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Wait, you're the grandpa? Okay. <laughs> okay, uh... uh... Oh, sorry, <laughs> they had me working non-stop. Hey, you trainer, you made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Okay, so what now? Do I just leave? I guess I just go, right? Right? I, I, <laughs> it's just kind of like, oh, okay, I guess you're done now. Okay, well, that was fun. Anyways, um. 
yeah so let's uh keep let's keep making our way towards eternus city uh i guess we probably won't reach it by the end of this episode but that's okay uh any cool secret pokemon around here doesn't look like it uh oh wait if you're you're a uh... okay time to do another trainer battle <laughs> Hiker Daniel. Uh-oh, he has more Pokemon than me. This is dangerous. <laughs> oh, and he starts off with a Geodude. Okay. Uh, Edgy Boy's not exactly equipped to handle on a Geodude. Oh, and I probably should have, uh... Yeah, gone to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> that would probably have been a good idea. Or I could just use some potions outside of battle. That would be fine. Because I have, like, a bajillion of them. Tackle, uh-oh. Ow, that did three whole points of damage to me. Wowee. Hey, there goes that Geodude. <laughs> Just... <laughs> um, a chop. Eh, no, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, because flying attack works on it. Work on it, right? Uh, yes. Take it out with a peck. I also want to point out that my Pokemon is clearly floating above the ground. Just, just want to point that out for no reason. <laughs> um, okay, then let's just use Metal Claw just because we don't need to go full power. Take him out, there we go. And oh, Jaflukov is a little 18 now, thanks. No new moves. Another Geodude. Uh-oh, I'm so scared, guys. I don't know what we're gonna do against this Geodude that's also the same level as the first one. Oh no, it's so terrifying. Okay, anyways. What's this guy's last Pokemon? He's got four. I have to imagine that his last one's something interesting. <laughs> well, that certainly comes as a surprise. <laughs> Bidoof of all things. Okay. Sure, uh, it's a metal claw, it's cut it in half. You have to decapitate the bit of. Okay, never mind. This bit of strong, it's actually survived an attack. A, a singular attack. And then we just metal claw it again. Okay. Sorry, this episode's just been a lot of Pokemon trainer battles that I've just been cleaning house through. It's the clean house episode, you know? We just destroy everyone in our path ruthlessly. And they all give us money, because that's how the world of Pokemon works for some reason. X attack, nice. Hmm. Um, gosh, can there not be so many trainers as, like, you know, this stuff? For, so I can, like, try and get more Pokemon? Because I want to get a fourth Pokemon, but we keep getting freaking Weasel. <laughs> Which, I like Buijol, but again, he's a wire type, and I already got a wire type, so... Kinda pointless. Well, I guess it's free EXP, so that's nice. Oh, um... Excuse me, uh, wow, she's person, people have terrible eyes at, oh wait, item, Pokeball, wow! That's so cool. Uh, why is this here? Okay, I guess there's just this, <laughs> for some reason. Uh, oh, okay, we got, we gotta dodge the eyes of these trainers. Uh, oh. It's like a minefield, or like a stealth mission now. Oh, hold on, I, I, I really want to try and get a, like an interesting fourth Pokemon. And... It's another Bleasel. Yeah, I don't really know why I'm actually trying to get Pokemon in this area. It's, they're all like super low level. So, I'm just gonna move on. We got... We, we got a good amount of Pokemon. We can just keep moving. Uh, excuse me, coming through. Uh, what's down this way? Ooh, an item! Super Potions! Yes! <laughs> uh, and then that's going back down. 
I guess let's just check out this house. There must be someone living here, right? Yeah, what do you do? You gonna turn it forth by yourself? Uh, oh, I could just rest here? Well, gee, thanks, lady. That's very kind of you. Hmm. I don't remember that in the other Pokemon games, but okay. I did not want to go back in there. <laughs> I meant to go, like, this way and stuff. Okay. Um, is there any cool things over here? On the outside of the forest? Okay, if we had cut, I could... Oh, I see. So if you had cut, you could avoid going through the whole forest, but... Since I don't have cut, we have to enter the forest, and... We're immediately met with a green-haired lady. It looks like her hair is grass. <laughs> Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are... Okay, so your name is Manzap. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. And so may I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm kind of afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there's a sinister group of, of people called Team Galactic about. I think there will be safety in numbers. Please may I go with you? Thanks for letting me choose, game. Just, you decided to go. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Okay, this is kind of cool. Uh, so we got, we'll be able to do double battles, I think. I don't know if I can check her Pokemon or anything, but... Um, actually, I think entering this forest is a good place to end, end off this episode. And we'll explore the forest in the next episode, and I'm sure everything will be great. I'm sure we'll finally get a fourth Pokemon, and to maybe we'll actually end up using it. But <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to check out more of what I do, go follow me over on Twitch, as well as YouTube Archive channel for that Twitch channel. And if you want to keep up to date on all things Mads Up Gaming, go follow me over on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description down below for all that stuff. And I'll see you all in the next episode.